All right. We're back. You'll see it's been out for a few days now. So we got three cars. We got a faction dunk, we got a slam van, we got the Virgo Classic. I expected also the Saber. Then we had that uh, family car. And another one. But the Saber GT and the other cars were not included, so they will be released in an, uh, another update pretty soon, so that's okay. Like I already said in my previous videos, I uh, already had a slam van, but I sold it again because it had, well, looked great, but had a very rough handling. And, um, so, I am not a fan of lowriders, guys, not at all. I don't like lowriders, but to each their own, of course. I already had this, this faction uh, customized some time ago it cost me quite go. some money but I sold it again because it was not my my style but anyhow I saw a few of these nice donks driving around they are outrageous they are really over the top and I had to have one you know so I decided let's get one and let's uh, customize it my way let's go outrageous and um, let's do it so we're going through all the options as once again everything as you pimp out at the bennies is, is you have so much so many choices it's, it's unbelievable and that in itself makes this makes this tuning very uh, pleasant especially when you were grinding for quite a few weeks and now you can reap the benefits from your hard work you go to bennies and then upgrade your cars so that's nice um, for me personally, like I already said, uh, I'm not really a lowrider kind of guy, but I had to have this uh, this donk. I'm more a fan of the Banshee 900R and the uh, the Sultan RS, but anyhow, at the moment it's the donk. Um, for about a month or so, I'm now part of a new team, the Next Level Aliens, and they have this very nice alien logo. Custom color, custom crew color is green, and um, for my second character, my female character, I am uh, tricking all my cars out with this custom color. No longer with my uh, with the uh, midnight blue and the ultra blue present on top of it. No, and now for the female character, I'm going for green. So we're tricking this one out here, guys, and. Uh, it's of course very very elaborate the things that you can choose and that makes it difficult in itself of course I'm not like the uh, the bigger youtubers let's say that can uh, choose every single option in here that's not what I I can afford as you can see I have at the moment for where I had few days ago 4 million and that's, that has dropped now to $320,000 because I had a lot of new cars that I bought for the second character, some new properties and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need a new shark car pretty soon or, or two to get my funds up again because uh, I asked a few guys at the GTA forums was possible how it was possible to unlock the, the Duke the Imponte Duke and as you all may know it's uh, part of a returning customer software so you have to be you have to add Grand Theft Auto or let's say the PlayStation then you go to a newer platform and if you link up your your previous accounts to the new social club account then you get these uh, vehicles so at the GTA forums they, uh, they told me I had to um, create an account at um, Sony so a PlayStation account and then uh, some people who, or, or own a PlayStation 
previous platform, a PlayStation and uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, they will unlock me these vehicles. So I'm waiting for that, and that's something I really look forward to. But in the meantime, uh, we are gonna go. We're gonna tricking out this uh, this donk. When I checked out the videos that. Uh, is the boss for the win and uh, chaotic I saw that this this livery was my was the one I would like to have so the zebralicious I'm not particularly a fan of liveries and especially not liveries with, with uh, let's say uh, publicity liveries like candy bars and stuff so this one doesn't have that and looks and in my opinion looks over the top wouldn't ride around in real life with like this but in the Grand Theft Auto 5 universe this looks pretty epic epic the alien logo from my crew is also looking nice makes it a unique vehicle again that's what we all strive for of course have a personal vehicle that is unique and that's what these um, modifications that Benny offer us you will not see one vehicle that looks the same when it uh, rolls out of Benny's garage so that's nice and that's also something that we have to cherish really on the Grand Theft Auto 5 forms there were a lot of people that were complaining and like I already said I'm not a lowrider kind of fan lowrider kind of guy but anyhow we have to be glad that we still get these new vehicles so that we can trick them out and it might not be our personal taste but whatever you know they are new, they are new vehicles you can pick one pretty soon there will be also the, the Sabre GT and I'm pretty sure I'm also gonna trick that one out and that's enough for me you know two out of out of six that's a great pick you know you can pick the vehicles that you like more or less like trick them out and you enjoy the game that's what it's all about that's also what Rockstar in my opinion wants to do for its customers give them a very let's say a big choice and, and lots of entertainment and lots of freedom to look for the entertainment and this is it you know new vehicle and you can drive around it's not particularly strong and since my uh, second character is only level 60 or so I'm not doing any engine upgrades any brake updates because it costs too much money I'm waiting till, until I get her about uh, at uh, level 100 at the moment as we speak we're now uh, March 19 she's um, she's level uh, 77 I think so within the new, within the next week, I hope to bring her up to uh, level 100, so I can do all the modifications at uh, the regular Los Santos Custom Shop and also at uh, at Benny's whenever I decide to do another car. I was contemplating also doing the slam van, but I decided otherwise. There were some guys that was, as we all know, of course, or most of us know, the slam van under certain conditions certain conditions is um, is the fastest vehicle in the universe in this universe the Grand Theft Auto 5 universe even faster than the Magic 9 on the R and the T20 so but also on the certain circumstances on certain conditions so it's not always the case I saw a few videos of the, the time trials which people were really let's say 30 40 seconds faster than me on a on a bed and a on the motorcycle on the body 801 not that I'm a particularly fast guy not by any, any means but it goes to show that this uh, new slam van is really fast but so I was contemplating also getting that one but I decided otherwise it's, um, it looks great it's nice but I will not use it the handling is still very particular but also other people that were saying that this uh, slam van has the the handling of a car or that's riding on ice so and that's 100% true that has that really hasn't changed so the guys that, that are able to do these time trials they go 30 40 seconds under the, the part time uh, are guys that are you know it's really impressive because the handling is is, is still horrendous and 
with the with this handling still uh, being able to make these to to put these times down is is, is really impressive. So, but um, slam van is not for me. As you guys can see, this is my farm. I put all this um, put all my uh, my Sentinel XS vehicles in here that I farm. I'm not sh sure where to put the the donk, so I put it in here for the time being. And it looks nice. It's a nice car. If you raise it up with hydraulics, it's even a, a pretty pretty good off-road car. I was contemplating getting off-road tires, but decided otherwise. It looks most of the time we'll use it on the road. Just to have a little bit of fun. That's what it's all about, you know. Have fun in uh, what is in my humble opinion a, a fantastic game a game that makes you lose track of time and that's what uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 online is for me alright thanks for watching guys and uh, see you on the next video again cheers